Hey guys and gals and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another product review and unboxing and this here is from X Leader called the Air Pro 2 which are Bluetooth earbuds. Now for a little backstory, I was looking for extremely cheap Bluetooth earbuds as my headphones that came with my work phone which was wholly provided by my employer just stopped working. I did request to have them replaced, which would have cost the company around 15 to 20 bucks. However, I was declined a replacement. Go figure. So now I have to provide myself with either my own headset or Bluetooth earbuds, hence this product unboxing and review. Now these are extremely cheap Bluetooth earbuds, and are they worth the money? Let's go ahead and find out. Stay tuned for the unboxing and the review. Right off the bat, I can see that the company put a lot of effort into putting this product together. You get a suede carrying case, five different types of silicone earbud sizes, the USB-C charging cable, the instruction manual, the quick start guide, a two-year warranty, which is pretty good for these type of earbuds. However, curiously, they included a UNICEF card, which I haven't seen since I was in elementary school, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but glad to see this company supports UNICEF. And lastly, we have the unit itself. Now, this kind of looks like it's trying to be like the Apple earbuds, uh, whatever they're called. Um... I don't really know what they're exactly called as I really don't like Apple at all, but I do know that it is kind of similar to their earbuds case uh, and the look as well. Now taking out the earbuds, they are magnetized to fit in the charging case. The case is pretty standard, the charging prongs are at the bottom, and the front has the charging lights. Here is one of the earbuds. Right away, I can see a scuff mark on it. The tape prevents this unit from charging or losing charge while awaiting to be purchased. Now, the other earbud also has a scuff mark right there, and it kind of looks like it's permanent. Now I tested these earbuds for one workday and here are my findings. The earbuds are extremely light so you can't really tell that they're in your ear. They did not hurt my ear at all having worn them for about 6 hours. The battery life is also pretty good. It is rated for up to 8 hours of talk time after being fully charged and I never got a low battery notification at all. I did put them back into the charging case for lunch however so that probably added a little bit more charge to them. Now the touch controls were okay, they were not too sensitive, however they were always not working. I did have to press the button on the side of the earbuds two to three times to put someone on hold or to pick up the call as it did not register the first time around. Connectivity was simple, it connected to my work iPhone in one go, about a couple of seconds for initial pairing, However, after I had returned from lunch, I did need to pair it again. However, this time it took about a minute as I did need to forget the device and repair it again. Since my job involves talking to a lot of people throughout the day, I needed some earbuds that were not only clear sounding to me, but to the people I was conversing with. Right off the bat, I could hear the people extremely clearly, no issues at all. However, for them being able to clearly hear me was another issue. I was told that I sounded muffled, far away, boxy, or echoey, 
but not all at the same time. And for those that couldn't hear me well enough, I needed to take my earbuds off Bluetooth and place my phone on speaker just so I could talk to them. I also confirmed this myself. After work, I called my personal phone with my work phone and with the Bluetooth earbuds connected, and I had my girlfriend speak to me and vice versa. Although I didn't sound too echoey or muffled, I did sound far away, like the earbuds were feet away from my face. I also tried taking one earbud off and speaking directly into it, and it did not change at all. Now, because I primarily deal with speaking to people, this was a huge disappointment as I could hear them no problem. It was the ability for the earbuds to pick up my voice that was the issue. Now, it's not too bad, uh, but it was subpar in all honesty. But again, speaking with people is my primary concern, and these did not live up to that expectation. Listening to music, however, is a different story. It actually sounded real good, the bass was nice, and the treble wasn't too crisp that it hurt my ear. So for listening to music and watching content such as YouTube or even like Netflix on your phone, uh, these earbuds work just fine. All in all, I would say that if you are interested in super cheap earbuds that won't break any bank, these may be an option for you, provided that you know what you're getting into and not expecting a whole lot. If you need these for speaking with people and making calls, I would say this is a definite no, as you need both lines of communication to be clear and crisp and cannot just be a one-way street. Now, if you're simply looking for replacement earbuds for music, content consumption, watching videos or YouTube with occasional phone calls, then this may be the one for you. The packaging is great and the accessories that came with it are a great inclusion as well. Again, for $15, you shouldn't be really expecting too much though from this device. Alright everybody, thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one.